giving fancy dinner parties. I think <laughs> they were the cameras. Well, they took a couple of them out, didn't they? Oh, hey, how you doing there, boys and girls? Welcome to Cooking Sheep. Isn't that funny that there's no tally light on that camera over there, so the cameraman has to signify, well, which they do very well around they here. They do. They do yes. indeed. Well, what are you doing, John? Well, <laughs> We're trying to have a fancy dinner party today. Fat chance in this place. Well. But anyway, uh, we're going to try, and uh, we're doing two fancy, but inex relatively inexpensive, I always say like that, recipes, and I'm doing a beautiful soup. And let me show you what I've got going. Because Aren't you interested in what I'm doing? No, because I'm going to turn it right over oh, to you. Oh. I've got two uh, medium-sized onions that have been thinly sliced and they are sauteing in three tablespoons of margarine until they get real wilted and limp. And then I'm going to add a pound of sliced mushrooms to that mixture and fool around Woo! with them for a while. And while all of this is going on, because it takes about 10 minutes for these onions and another five minutes for these rooms, I'm going to pass it over to uh, Mr. Larry Bly. That's B L Y with no E. The there baton is. has been right. passed uh -huh. to me. I'm going and to you're do. You're lucky you didn't get it upside the head. <laughs> I'm going to be doing pork scallopine. <laughs> a la bog. A la bog. It's a pork scallopini. And I got to tell you, I don't think I've. There's not a lot to this thing. There is an awful lot to it. I think by the time you get fish messing around, this pork is going to be worn out. <laughs> And I'm going to be worn out. <laughs> First thing you do is you start with a pound. Out before you start. <laughs> definitely a, a pound of pork, uh, boneless loin cutlets, and you got to pound them into quarter-inch thickness. Boy, oh. am I in a mood for this today? Where did you get that? This is that yours from home? Well, uh, er, I don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder where you got it. I have well, never I... seen you use a instrument that was correct for the thing for pounding. I'm surprised. <laughs> no, you, you know me, I'm mine. the king of the gadgets. This is mine. I, so, somebody gave it to me. I believe it was in some kit with something. Along I think with, I bought out with a... that hatchet that goes through <laughs> your head. <laughs> that you know. So I'm going to smash that. Oh, I forgot. I got to take, I've already started forgetting stuff, and the show hadn't started yet. To take a little bit of flour, a couple of tablespoons of that, and a little bit of salt and pepper, which, doggone, you know, what? I've only been here two hours. I'm not ready for the show yet. <laughs> no salt and oh, no. Salt and pepper. Well, I'm at least sorry. we know where it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've just been down the hall, and I'm upset. <laughs> so excuse me a little bit, if you don't mind. A little salt. Just a little bit. Now what you do is you're heating up some oil over here in one pan. This is about a three pan job. <laughs> so you squish this stuff down to quarter inch thickness and then you rub it through here. Can't you hear them, all those highfalutin cooks out there that are so snobby just having the horrors I right I hope there. the one in New York has gone into apoplexy. And you put that in there. Yeah, tell her to get ready because we're going to open up a lot of cans here in a minute. Now after you've squished it to a quarter of a pound, you put it down here and you brown it on each side about five minutes. And uh, I agree with the Dr. Johnson theory of browning things. Just leave it alone for a while, okay? So that's what we're going to be doing. Now I got to tell you, I did do one thing yesterday in preparation for this show. You got drunk. <laughs> 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 I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> this thing calls for... Isn't it terrible uh, when everybody's got your number black? <laughs> <laughs> this thing calls for cranberries, fresh cranberries. Uh -huh. and I went out yesterday and got cranberries. Get a wonderful cranberry shot. There's a cranberry shot. Picked them right out of the I, bog yourself. <laughs> I did. This is fresh cranberry, and all you do is you, you do this according to the package directions, which is as follows. You dump an entire package into a pot about that big. You put one cup of sugar, one cup of water, and you boil it until they stop snapping at you. Like John's five minutes will do the job, and there it is. And because it has its own natural pectin, <laughs> it sets up but jellifies on its own. So uh -huh. anyway, I did that last night in preparation this day because I knew this was going to be a bear of a day. So I'm going to do this for a while, and I'll be back. Johnson? Oh, no. I mean, I don't want it because... <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> no, all right. No, 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 no. I'm cooking. I've got mushrooms over in here. I'm sick of this. And show. I'm getting ready to open up my first can. <laughs> oh no, another not another dual can show. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you something. All right. We were hoping you would. This thing calls for a pound of these things, and I this is a small pan. I can't get any more in there. I'm just going to put in there what I can get in there well, comfortably and let it go. I'm going to turn it up. How do you turn it up? Well, I don't there know. There we go. Like Whoops. They... It'll blow up. No. There we go. Is that high? Well, it's on the right side of high. Is that high? Well, I think the best thing to do is to look at the flame. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of that. Can you tell what I don't? Every See, Bly is still cooking I'm still with whale oil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still, I still have From a wood very stove. old whale. <laughs> Here, Doris, you can put this over that black eye that Harold gave you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. Now back to Laban. Oh, I wish I had some of that cheesecake. Should we tell that story? We ought to tell that story. Tell what story? We taped the show the no. other, that'll be on in a few weeks from Doris and Harold's house, <laughs> Smith Mountain Lake. And Doris just admitted that after we left and she served a delicious luncheon of lasagna and a salad and garlic bread, mm, it was delicious and iced tea. And after we left, she discovered that she forgot to give us the cheesecake that she made. And I guess she and Harold have been chowing down on cheesecake. Now well, I'm gotta, sweating these mushrooms real good in here. <laughs> and I they're gotta, giving it up. Next thing I'm going to do is take a quarter of a cup of wine, red wine vinegar. Red, red wine. Put that in there, and we're going to turn the heat up on that thing. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to sing. And with that, we're going to add some sugar, three tablespoons of sugar. And i got to find that, and I'll be right back. Do we have sugar on the set? Yeah, Oh, in the sugar bag. Thank heavens. <laughs> Could I have a tablespoon, darling? You know, you'd think. You know, Bly is one of those people that gets rid of his frustrations when he cooks. He just pounds stuff into next week. Now, what you got to do is you got to cook this stuff until the sugar dissolves. Fat chance of that, it's in lumps as big as your head. How many does it take? Three? Three know. tablespoons of sugar goes in there. Oh, boy, that stuff's frying. Doesn't that smell good? It does. Woo-wee! Now, just... Stir that stuff around until the sugar just disappears right into it real good. So we're going to do that for a little bit. And we ought to be ready at this point to turn this over. It should be brown. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, indeed. Oh, they're beautiful. It blind. is gorgeous, just gorgeous. And we can probably turn that off very shortly because I, all we got to do is brown it a little bit on the other side now. It's got that salt and pepper in there and everything. And we got, uh, now all I've got to do now is just kind of wait around for the sugar to disappear into this, this wine vinegar. And nothing else I can do. I'm sorry. That's all I can do, so leave me alone. All right, now this is uh, my... Uh, Mushrooms are wilting and they're, the liquid is coming out of them. It's, they're steaming out. Well, that's pretty exciting. They're getting concentrated. Now, here we go. We're going to put in two cups of beef broth. That's not quite a, two cups. And two of chicken broth. And we'll add some water to that. And six tablespoons of tomato puree. So there's one, two, Three. Well, old Dobbin and uh, all the Dobbinettes are out there today. They're very lovely Dobbinettes. Five. Six. Go. Let's hear it for the tomato puree. Huh? There we are. And we have to stir all this up and bring it to a bowl. A bowl? Ooh. Uh, well, uh, sounds better than a boil. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I never thought of that. <laughs> Okay, you... now I gotta add three cups. Ah! I just burned myself severely. Workman's comp. <laughs> Let's all laugh together. Uh, okay, three cups of chicken stock goes in there. 
And I'm adding that right now, now that the, the sugar and the vinegar and all that, that goes in there. I'm gonna cook that up just a little bit. And we'll add some more. Oh, and in the meantime, and get this stuff out of the way. I'm sorry, I'm just real busy, man. Uh, this has finished, this is finished on both sides now, so we take these out and we set these aside, okay? You put them on a little platter and arrange them in a delicate manner that would impress all your friends. On the other hand, I'm just gonna flop them on a plate and lay them over here. Good enough for the likes of this crew. All right, that's all I'm gonna do for right now. Okay. Now, I'm gonna get rid of this grease because I'm gonna put some butter in here, margarine in here, so that I can saute some onions in just a minute. Thank you. Oh, well, how nice. Well, now, I have to bring this soup mixture to a boil. And it's getting close. It's going to do it in a minute. And then I'm going to add six tablespoons of, yes, it's an alcoholic beverage. <laughs> it's Very about time you sweet, can admit it. Sweet vermouth. It is, now, it's a little this, too sweet, I think. This is not the kind of vermouth that Bly uses at home with that juniper berry flavored <laughs> liquid that uh, is very clear. Uh, and You're giving me a bad he's name. He's got the same bottle that he started out with as a child. You're giving me a bad name. And the he, people at my Sunday school came up to me. Yeah, Sunday, your Sunday school. It gave me a hard time. Anyway, I, and what he does, he pours that, that uh, I think it's called gin, into a glass with ice, and then he sprays out of an atomizer, some of the dry vermouth <laughs> over that to make some kind of drink. However, this is sweet, kind of real sweet vermouth, and I'm going to add to this pan after it boils so all the alcohol will be boiled off and I will still be able to keep my lips virgin and pure. <laughs> uh, the uh, six tablespoons of the sweet vermouth. Mm, mm, mm. And you know it's going to be good. But while I'm doing that, Bly, let me have the salt and pepper, if you would, please. Well, now that I've gotten it for you, uh, in other you. words, you would have needed it eventually. Well, yes. That's but knowing that you two never, I'm going to put about a eventually. teaspoon of salt into this. And, oh, a, a good hearty <gasps> swig <gasps> of uh, black pepper. I've got some margarine going over here right now, and I've got an onion. I'm going Where's to saute it. Where's it going it. to? It's going right down in there in that pan. We're going to saute some onions. It takes a little while. No reason why we can't get on with it right now. A couple of minutes, I'm going to stir some flour into that, make a little roux or something similar to it. And that's all I'm going to do for right now. Meanwhile, I've got my, I've got all this mess going. I'm not sure what it's supposed to do. Is it supposed to boil or just sit there for five minutes? My trusty assistant, Doris, has gone to her dictionary. Bring to a boil, cook five minutes, we'll be here a week. <laughs> See if I can get that thing goosed up a little bit. Oh, Nelly. While I'm waiting for the to boil, a long time. I've got to have some parsley. And you shall. Could I have the salt and pepper? Oh, uh, I don't have it anymore. Oh, there it is. excuse me. You know, you'd think a high-tone yeah, show like to... ours could afford at least two of everything. That's oh, the wrong end. But it's end. wasteful. See, we're cheap, Bly. Remember that? Maybe while we're waiting for this and that. We could bring in the Cook we Sisters. We could bring in the Cook Sisters. Because they're here, and they have got some housewares from their yesteryear. That oh, they are they show to are us. they dragging out that depression glass yes, again? Yes, they've got it again. They're going to show us their <laughs> fine collection of it. Here it is. Oh, sis, it's so nice here at the home. Yes, it is. I love it out here on the porch. What you got in your hands? Well, I'll swear. Well, I got some depression glass. Remember when we started collecting these way yeah, back when? I sure do. It depressed me so much I broke every plate I could get my hand on. Well, I'll swear. Well, you love this green. It was always your favorite. Oh. I always sort of was partial to the pink myself. Anyway, it's and depression And nowadays, glass. well, never mind. I'm Sister Cook. And I'm Tootsie Cook. And, and we're, we're the, the Cook, Cook sisters. sisters. How much flour? Okay, wasn't that exciting? Did you turn my pot down? <laughs> no, I haven't touched it. Well, I'm still saute, the land of the sauteing onions. You know, there's a, a, a one-act play that I, when I was a high school teacher that people would drag out and it was something, six who watched while the lentils boiled, and that's the way I feel now. We're just standing here watching this pot, waiting for it to do something. Well, uh, 
Okay. Well, I've got to have my pot fiery hot and boiling before I can do anything. I'm just sorry. It's got to be hotter than the hinges of you know where. Well, I'm going to stir in about three tablespoons of flour into this Is that this bleached mess. or unbleached? <laughs> she's, she's not sure. She's hedging on me, right? Yeah. Rising or self? One, <laughs> two, we're going to get real brave. Three. Okay. Now, that ought to take about 10 minutes to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Tell me it isn't so. <laughs> <laughs> and, and as soon as that browns a little bit, then we're going to take this mixture over here, the, uh, the, the vinegar and, and all that mess, the, hot the sugar and the hot broth and all that, and we're going to cook that in there, you see. What we're doing is we're preparing the goop that goes on top of the pork which kind of makes the scalpini a la bog. This is the <laughs> slowest pot I have ever had to deal with in my well, life. Well, I don't know what's going on. I finally got this rolling after 20 minutes. Uh, it might take into another season to get this one done. <laughs> but that's well, okay. We're moving along friskily, friskily. By well, the way, it's beginning over here. the cranberries will be the last thing that go in just before you serve this. And this will all be a nice sauce on top. Uh -huh. Should theoretically be very, very nice. You want to look at the recipes while we're waiting? Well, for I, I guess we could while we're just sitting around waiting for the pot to boil. Boil beautiful, beautiful soup. soup. Two medium onions sliced real thin. A pound of mushrooms sliced real thin. Three tablespoons of butter or margarine. Right, sliced real thin. <laughs> Six <laughs> tablespoons of tomato puree. Two cups of canned beef broth, two cups of canned chicken broth, six tablespoons of sweet vermouth, salt and ground black pepper, three tablespoons of grated parmesan cheese, and three tablespoons of minced parsley. And as soon as this thing boils, I'll put in the six tablespoons of pork scallopini a la bog, one pound of pork scallopini, that's smushed up pork. Four tablespoons of flour, half a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of pepper, two teaspoons of oil, quarter of a cup of red wine vinegar, and three tablespoons of sugar, which you add to that. I'm going to add that to something else in a minute. Three cups of chicken broth, cup of finely chopped onions, three tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of flour, and a cup of fresh cranberries. Okay, guys, here's what we're going to do now. We're going to take this from pot number A, and we're going to put it into Woo! pot number B, oh, and it's it running worked. all over the place down on the floor. It's quite exciting, ladies and gentlemen, and we're going to make a nice thick sauce. I just cannot believe that I need to use all of this for that, so I'm going to take it a little at a time because I don't want to drown this thing. It says it's an awful lot of stock. Well, you don't have to use it all. Well, that's what I'm saying. You know, for three mm. tablespoons of flour, it's not a whole heck of a lot. Now, we got to cook that along for just a little bit. I can't hurry. That's going to take at least four or five minutes. And I'm just chopping my parsley. <laughs> Listen to him laugh. Uh, I'm it's just terrible. chopping this parsley for who laid the rail. Uh-huh, I can tell you are. Mm -hmm. Maybe we ought to bring on the witch while we've got well, the parsley no, going. Well, no, wait a minute. i got something else to oh, do wait. right now. Just oh, hang on. Keep just... that witch in the air. Right. Don't touch that witch. Now, it's boiling here. <laughs> the uh, soup has finally come to a boil, and I'm going to add my... Um, I'm looking at your recipe. Mm. <laughs> And now six <laughs> tablespoons, one. You're looking at my recipe. Two, <laughs> three. How terrible. Four, five, six. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> we got a right frisky crew here we today. Do. Well, I don't, can you blame them? No. I mean, they got bored too. You know. I just keep waiting for Rip Van Rex Road to wake up and, <laughs> and discover that 40 years have passed <laughs> and we still have the same cameras. <laughs> That's our, our manager emeritus around here. <laughs> Let's take a look at this roux and see how it's coming along. Chicken. <laughs> oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Woo, you know that's lovely. <laughs> It is. That's real pretty and brown, just the way it's supposed to be. And just before we serve it, we're going to take some cranberry and fold it in there. And let me tell you something else. If you want to, if you're not a real fanatical person and you don't mind doing it, and you can find it, this is the most important part, if you can find it, you can use a little cranberry liqueur, which you add at the last minute because you don't want to cook out all the good part of the liqueur, that being the liqueur part. <laughs> so anyway, 
Uh, but I couldn't find any. And so it's okay, you don't need it. I mean, we got the fresh cranberry, what else do you need? But it would be a nice touch. I mean, if you're getting a real fancy fine meal together, it would be real nice. So now I'm gonna turn that off and we're gonna add a cup of fresh cranberries to that at this point. A cup it. of fresh cranberries. Ooh, isn't that lovely? I love cranberries. You know where I came from, they never, they don't, their idea of cranberries on the farm where I was, they'd open up a can of that jellied stuff once well, a year. Well, it was the same thing down here. Feed it to you. And you know, I was about 28 years old before I ever actually cooked a cranberry and found out wasn't much to it. Well, my, I mean, cooking it, my I mean. mother's family, the Bonds, always had the jelly, and my father's family, the Johnsons, who were from Maryland, always had the uh, other stuff. And I was quite old before I learned to like anything but the jelly. I, you were in your, at least in your 60s, wasn't you? I was up there. I believe. Mm, uh -huh. I love cranberry. Mm, wonderful. I'm going to take the rest of this home and eat it for dinner tonight. Oh, well, no wonder you made so much. <laughs> well, you have to buy a whole yeah, bag yeah. of it. You can't buy half a bag of it. Who, who are you calling old bag? Now, look, watch. Here's what you do. Where's my thing? I beg your pardon. I had a... <laughs> oh, it's all right. It's okay. It's all right. Now, look, here's what you do. Take that and just... Put it just now. What you would do is put this on a fancified platter and serve it like this, just before, you know, and make it look real pretty. Mm. Oh, oh, that's good. It is. And there you go. And you just serve them up in little individual pieces, and it's going to be just darling, wonderful. Well, good. Well, now I'm. How's your soup coming? Well, it's ready. Oh, it looks pretty. It I'm really does. To it fill up looks the, gorgeous. The soup bowls here a little bit, uh -huh. and then we'll garnish Ooh. it. And You're going to garnish it? Why? Uh -huh. Didn't you pay for everything? No. And you just take your finely minced that, parsley. That's right out of your garden, isn't it? The mm -hmm. parsley. Yeah. Mine's still going strong too. And then you're going to sprinkle some cheese in here too. I don't think we're going to have time for the witch. Oh yeah, we got time. We well, better bring, bring her, her in. in. <laughs> you better bring her in post haste, cause we. We got less than a minute. Whoops. Well, it's a short letter. Read it there, Bly. Dear boys, sincerely, the witch. Hey, you blockheads, how about a block party? We think other chumps in our neighborhood might show up. Ralph Rude. <laughs> <laughs> From where? Mouth City, Mouth. Florida. Mouth City, Florida. Well, let's go over here and see how this food stuff is that we got together. I can't get over there because I'm stuck on something. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> Let me climb that. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, it's okay. Oh, there How we are. Here, have some of this. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you know, I'm going 10 minutes. They put a post in the middle of the dining room. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not even Saturday evening. Now, there's, there's firemen that use this for a show while we're gone. Uh -huh. That's, they put that in. Hey, slide down that thing. Actually, the house is falling in. That's one of those... Uh, Mm. House Jacks. Johnson, I'm going to tell you, you have made a fine soup. Really? Two. Hey. What? We're down to one ten minutes ago. Oh, well. That is good. What's this stuff called? Beautiful soup. Beautiful soup. Soup of the evening, Ooh, beautiful soup. That is marvelous. I bet it's hot, isn't it? I tell you what, I like it. I really do. I like it. How's this stuff? I didn't hear you comment on it. Ooh, it's good. Did it ruin you? No. It's sort of like having Cherry's Jubilee on a pork chop. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is that right Oh, no! Oh, it's just a little pit. I, you mean you didn't wash the cranberries and pull the stems off of them? I, I got a cranberry stem. I, I swear you them. always find an artifact well, there's in also, Bly's Well, there's food. also a rubber washer in there somewhere, oh, but I'm no. not going <laughs> to... I'll tell you where I put it. Oh, come on. Let's not be too delicate. I mean, cranberries do have little stems on them once in a while. I'm not going to go through and de-stem them. Huh. Mmm. That's good Back stuff. Back in the old days, my grandmother, Connie Bond, would have peeled the, the things yeah, before she uh, served them. Yeah. But the soup is real tasty. Well. Same lady that washed a cow before she milked every time. Oh. Crazy. Just stupid. Anyway. Thanks. It's good to see all of you again. <clears throat> Bye.